What's up, Fish Huge fans? Thank you for joining me on the Fish Huge YouTube channel. I'm Captain Chris, and I'm going to show you guys how we fish huge. And I would also like to thank uh, Kevin Kemp, our pro staff member, for the giveaway that he's doing for his 5,000 subscribers. Um, if you uh, if you guys want to get in on the the free merch, then go over to Kevin Kemp's uh, YouTube channel, and uh, he's got all the instructions on there on how to uh, sign up and get some free merch from Fish Huge and uh, some of his products and uh, lots of other products. So uh, make sure you, uh, you go down and hit the link uh, to uh, his YouTube channel and go and support him as well. Alright guys, so it's um, red grouper season and uh, pretty much mangrove snappers are everywhere out there as well. So while you're out there red grouper fishing, you're going to probably run across some of these uh, huge mangrove snappers if you land on the right spot. Um, but also... Uh, you got to use the right gear to catch these mangrove snappers. Uh, these mangrove snappers have really good eyesight and they see the line. They notice when it, it's not falling um, correctly through the water column and some of these bigger snapper they'll lay off of it and let the smaller ones eat it. So what you got to do is make it look as natural as possible and you want to use light line. So what I like to do is I like to use the uh, the Spin Fisher 6. Uh, I'm using the combo with 40 pound braid and I got a really long uh, leader tied on. It's 30 pound fluorocarbon and I would recommend using 30 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, don't want to go any heavier than that for these mangrove snappers. They see the line. Uh, not to say you're not going to catch any on heavier line, but for the best results, use lighter line. And so I'm going down to a uh, half ounce or eighth ounce jig head. You want to use as small as a jig head as you can um, with as, as, you know, nice beefy hook because these fish are big and you, you, you want to have a nice thick hook on there. So, you know, find the right jig head for you. I make these. I order the hooks online. These are victory hooks. Uh, that's what I'm using there. Uh, these are the number threes, fours, and fives. Uh, they seem to be working pretty good. Some of them do straighten out, but uh, so far they're the beefiest ones I've found that uh, fit my mold. Uh, so that, that's the tackle we're using. So for these mangrove snappers, you're going to want to anchor up and you're going to want to chum them. So throw the chum upstream of the current so that it falls back and by the time it gets to your boat, it's already down uh, 20, 30 feet. I'm catching these big mangroves in the 90 foot to 100 foot range. So we find a good reef that's, uh, that's holding fish and chum them up. You'll see them come up. You'll, see, you'll know they're bigger fish because the lines will get a lot thicker uh, uh, on your depth finder. So you'll know you're on bigger fish when you see those big thick lines. Um, and you'll see them come up after the chum. Watch your depth finder. You'll watch the fish come up. And what I'm doing, I'm throwing down these pinfish with this half ounce and I'm hooking them right where this fin is. And you want to use a live one. This one's dead. I froze it, but you're going to hook it right there and you're going to float him down like that. And as he swims down, this hook's just hanging out like that. That fish comes up and grabs a hold of it and and you're into them and these mangrove snappers they can choke down you know a fish like that in one gulp and when you got them chummed up and they're competing with each other they usually hit it pretty hard and so you want to free line that down as natural as possible let the fish go down and then when the line starts peeling off your spool you want to lock it up and then set the hook uh, so that that's a good technique for that now when you're drifting, um, you're not going to catch as many mangrove snappers. You're mostly going to catch uh, like red grouper, uh, lots of vermilions. Uh, you're going to catch some porgies here and there, uh, lane snappers, uh, stuff like that. All right, guys, so the gear I'm using to catch these huge red grouper is a, a 7500 Spin Fisher 6 with the Carnage Rod. This is the uh, Carnage uh, Jigging Rod, and it's uh, rated 80 to 200 pound braid. So this sucker is solid. I have 
put angles on this thing that should really snap uh, most rods and it still holds up I have pulled up some monster fish and huge sharks and this this uh, for for what it is man th this is awesome right here I really like the uh, carnage uh, jigging rod so drift fishing is really productive on finding new spots and finding out where the fish are holding up it might you want to do an hour drift uh, you know maybe 15 20 minutes it depends on how long it takes you to find a good drift uh, when you find a, an area where people are hooking up and and you're, you're you're getting into some good fish then go back and drift it again after you come off of the uh, spot and hit it a couple times uh, a lot of times uh, you'll you'll uh, land some really nice grouper um, so Alright, so while you're drift fishing for red grouper, you're going to want to take your pinfish and you can use a larger pinfish. I would use a larger pinfish, but if this is all you got, then drop it down. You're going to end up getting a lot of smaller ones uh, with, with these baits. I recommend using really big bait. You're going to use lizard fish. Um, you're going to use the sand perch or squirrel fish. A lot of people call them squirrel fish. You're going to use those. Lizard fish work great. The tontate grunts, um, you, you know, anything that they can get into their mouth real easy. But what I do is on all of those fish, I will uh, take this and, and go right inside the mouth and then, and then right up between the eyes there so that he's like that. And then when you're drifting along, he's sitting there swimming just like that and you're pulling them and you got this nice heavy weight holding them to the bottom. And when you're drifting, you don't want to really be drifting more than than a mile an hour. Uh, it's really hard to hold bottom, even with really heavy weight. Um, this is a four ounce, three to four ounce uh, jig head, and uh, you want to let this hit bottom. And then you, as you're drifting, it's going to try to come up off the bottom. So you're going to let that do that a little bit, let them swim, and then you're going to let line out. Boom, and then you're gonna keep doing that until you get down to where you need to reel more line. You need to reel your line back in, and then you're gonna start over again. You're gonna drop it back down, or if you find that you're running into a good spot, reel in real quick and then redrop. Um, that way you're you're dropping into that that good spot again. Um, so, and then when you find out you're catching uh, fish on that spot, you can always stop, anchor up, and then start chumming them up. And that's what we did. That's how we landed the red grouper. I actually forgot to turn my GoPro on, and uh, so I only got it after he caught it. Um, but uh, you guys will see the uh, red grouper that we caught with uh, using this technique exactly. Uh, the line I'm using is 50 pound test, and I'm using 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon, really long leader again, double uni knot, and uh, just an advanced fisherman's knot. I never have any issues with these advanced fisherman's knot. So uh, that's how we do it. Live in or coming to the Tampa Bay area? Then let's go fishing. Book a trip with Fish Huge Charters. We'll take you and your family on a fishing adventure of a lifetime. Fish Huge Charters will put you on the fish, offering specialty trips for Goliath grouper and huge sharks. Fish Huge Charters will hook you up. So if you want to put meat on the table or just looking for a huge fish to catch, then go to fishhuge.com and book a trip. Let's go fishing. Two on the head. Scissors go. There you are. These got knife on the bottom of them. Big old bad thing is tough. With these little guys. Look at that bitch just like that. And then watch, watch how he goes down. Yeah, see how he goes down? He's like. Damn Amber Jack. That's the only problem with the pinfish is the amberjacks are on them. No! Oh, what? Hey, net, bro. Holy shit! Big Jesus. Okay, that's on the pin. That could be, yeah, that could be a good one. Oh, bro! Oh, man. 
Damn, boy, this is my keeper main right there. Bro. This is my third one here. <laughs> He's in the 20. 20. That was what I was guessing. 20. There we go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a snapper. That's a snapper right there, baby. Yeah. Ooh. Not a another big, another stud. I'll take him. Yeah, I just pulled out. That's my fourth one. Yeah, that's the size I'm keeping. I ain't keeping them no smaller than that though. Not out here. No big old mangrove. Damn. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, it's one after another. And <clears throat> fat sucker. Oh, Eric was shit if I can't move a big group like that. Bro, I could have swore that that was going to be a uh, um, amberjack. The way he was popping. Yeah. Dude, he hit it off the bottom. I was probably 15, 20 feet off the bottom. So they're coming up. We fish at night. Look at, Look at those mangroves I got. <laughs> Dude, those, oh yeah. Yeah, he, he's probably 25 or so. Get a photo. I get the front here. Turn around this way, Alex. Bring him down, bring him down here where we can, yeah, there we go. What'd you hook him on? The lizard fish. The lizard fish. Yeah, they love them, yeah, turn them like that. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Nice, bro, that's a beauty. Heck yeah. Let's put them in the box. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Let's go! Yes, sir, baby. I'm about to get over there. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> get it! Let's go! Oh my God! Come on, bro. Let's go! Let's go, Chase! Get that video, dog. Get that video. I got you. I got you. I got you. I wanted the video so good. Oh, go for it. Woo! Nice. There he is. He's 20. Yeah, he might be 20. Oh, yes. Sir. Hell yeah, they're down there. Yo, before we leave, we gotta make sure we get checked. Ah. Uh, he's, he's right there, man. He's probably right on the money. I think you got it, but we gotta be. Yeah. Yeah, you're 22. Put, 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 the put, lip. Uh, put his nose all the way against yeah, the. You, yeah, that's why I bring this ruler. Dude, nose all, all the way against the. All the way against the thing, or you're gonna get. Fuck, bro. He's on it. Let, let, let go, let, let, let go, real quick. Flying his head. He's on it. I mean, I'll say he's got he, it. You got it, you got it. I'll give it, I'll give it to you. For the best fishing apparel on the market, go to fishhuge.com. Made with strong, durable, and breathable material, Fish Huge Apparel has 50 SPF fabric that will protect you from the sun and keep you cool. So if you have the Fish Huge attitude, then go to fishhuge.com, apparel for extreme fishing.